Hello everybody and welcome to your next SFML tutorial. Now in this tutorial we're just going to be doing a quick little tutorial in order to show us how to do things with the clock. And the clock is going to be managing the amount of time that has passed since we've been playing the game and uh, it will help us in order to calculate the frames per second. Uh, or the yeah to see how much time that has updated from the last loop so then we can have continuous frequent motion and on every single computer for our programs or for our games so uh, let us look at this don't worry about this right now well I'm gonna change it right now so I'm don't worry I'm gonna walk you through each part of the code sorry so right now we want to include IO stream and the graphics HPP and we have a new function here called SF clock and uh, that's from the clock class and we're gonna name it clock so the clock only class only has two built-in functions get elapsed time and reset get elapsed time gets the time since um, how much time has passed since the last call to re clock reset and clock dot resets uh, actually resets the clock back to zero simple enough so if we look at our while loop our game loop right now we have a flow variable called time and we say it's equal to clock dot get elapsed time so we're basically getting how much time has passed since we started running the program so let me build this and run this So if we look at our console window, it's continuously updating and that's how much time has passed since we started running our program. So if I stop this, then you can see how much time has passed. So uh, that's, that's basically it for the clock. Now one thing we're going to be using is uh, our window name, window dot get frame time and that is in fact going to give us the amount of time that has passed since the last update and then that will give us smooth movement within our games and you're going to see how we implement it in my next tutorial where we're going to be going back to the a tutorial I gave you last time about sprite sheets but it's going to be more advanced with classes and such so hopefully you enjoyed that tutorial Hope you enjoyed this one and thanks for watching and bye.